What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you are having an amazing day. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at a Pixel Q Beta Pod developer version 5. So this is one of the last ones that we would be getting for the Q or the Android 10 Beta program. I guess Beta 6 or the Hotfix would be launching in this month as Google is now preparing for the August table release. But right now, it's not a huge change if you are already seen my Q Beta 4 video. It's basically Google has finally announced the new gestural features and pretty much nothing new. There are a whole lot of animations on throughout the system I just can't cover it in the video cause there are too many so I'm just going to cover up some of the features that you actually get within this GSI and some of the features that aren't actually present in the change log so I'm just taking a look throughout your home screen this is my pixel 2 XL well just kidding this is my redmi note 5 pro if you don't already know i am just not showing it on my redmi note 7 pro cause i'm just done i am pretty much shown like almost 10 gss based on android q on that phone so i thought let's just switch it up and show it on the pixel 2 xl clone so again just going on the left you have your google now and stuff if you go to your home screen pretty much you have very nice live wallpaper right over here if you go to the quick settings panel now you have notifications as before but if you have silent notifications for almost like news and stuff or ads it tells you that you have a silent notification now if you just go to the setting you don't have the snooze option over here cause now it's toggleable so if you just tap on the settings it's alerting silent or just turn off the notification completely now on silent it doesn't actually show on your lock screen which is a very nice feature to be honest once you unlock the phone you have the whole thing but again pixel imprint is working great over here it's extremely quick and fast so again going through the toggles pretty much everything is as same as before you have android version 10 qpp5 so then again going through the apps you pretty much have everything from the pixel phones like the phone app then again the messages app everything is very quick well that's google app this is the messaging app then again you have all the gestures right over here we'll just take a look at later on so again going through the apps again you have digital well-being now google camera is separately installed over here it doesn't come with the rom you have to actually install it with specific version of your phone but then again right now i'm having a bit of a decryption issue with my gsi so again that can be actually fixed it just depends on your vendor so again can't take a photo free up device storage so, so again my storage isn't actually mountable but my gcam just completely works so that's an easy fix for that then again you have contacts, file managers, everything just from the pixel apps. You get the whole stuff. So directly going through the settings app, there is not a lot of things changed over here. Again, you have the suggested settings right up top with you have search. Again, you have the profile right over here. Pretty handy just like the Samsung phones. Then again, you have Fusion Stable settings, which I don't actually recommend touching at all. So then again, going down, you don't have pretty much anything. If you just go to the apps and notifications, notifications, scrolling down, advanced, you have allow notification snoozing so again i have just normal notification now it doesn't actually pop up right over here if you have a newer notification than you actually toggled it will actually appear over here it just doesn't show anything like snoozing right over here so again once you toggle it you have to actually wait for the new notifications to get that option but you have a small preview of that right over here which is very handy i do really love this then again going back nothing much if you go to the battery you still have your normal options like adaptive battery and stuff but if you go to the display advanced pretty much nothing you have double tap to wake which does actually work on the redmi note 5 pro this again depends on your kernel but then again you have lock screen display which doesn't have a customizable clock now you still have your cmd commands that you can actually just run through your pc in order to get the analog clock or the digital clock but nothing right over here so again going back you have display size font size as before but if you go to the dark theme again you have a complete black theme over here Unlike the stock Android, it's not gray, but now if you go to the developer options into the system, advanced developer options, you have to scroll down until you find an all new option called override four star. Now what it does is it directly just overrides all the white colors into the Android and just turns it into black. So for example, all of your system here is already black. Then again, your Google bar. So again, Google app did actually had a bit of a dark theme coordinate. So again, it just works perfectly right over here. But then again, some of the apps like even third party apps like Instagram and stuff will actually turn dark, like even digital well-being, your phone app. Previously, all of this would actually need a substratum theme, but now they all just work completely. As you can see, it looks a bit goofy, but you have dark mode. Yep, that's the whole point. But you can now directly switch it right over here, just like before, nothing new in that. So again, going back sounds and vibration, you have a haptic feedback for pretty much everything that you do. Like even there is a new option for pinning apps. Now I don't have actually enabled it, I guess. Yup, 
you have to actually enable from the developer options but if you want to now unlock the pinned app you have to just grab your home bar right over here and just hold it for three seconds it will give a haptic feedback like literally everything has haptic feedback now so i guess a google pixel 4 would be coming with a new vibration motor just like the oneplus 7 pro or something that we see in iphones but going down security you have pixel imprint even if you go to the smart lock you have face unlock which is not that reliable so not recommending at all if you go to the accessibility you have live transcribe and everything that you can grab from the play store you have digital well-being pretty much everything so directly going to the system advanced you have software update over here july 5 patch android version 10 the latest and the greatest then again going to the gestures you have system gestures now depends on your vendor you would be having more options if you have a pixel experience calf vendor from android pi so again that's the recommended one but you can also use your stock vendor like auction os or miui that works too but again you have gesture navigation over here you have two button navigation or the three button that you previously have but in a new way how you can trigger the google assistant so for example if you have a pixel 3 phone you can just squeeze the sides of the phone and it will rise from the sides of your phone but over here you can still activate the gesture like that well i didn't want to switch the app but you can directly do that in order to summon the google assistant or even from this corner yep that's pretty handy for those who actually use the google assistant or the camera functionality of it but then again gestures are now much more refined i mean they are still not perfect especially for the taller phones like around 20 by 9 aspect ratio but still it works pretty great now i had a complaint for the longest time that you can't actually access anything from the sidebar right over here now why did it just went black okay the app theme has been just completely glitched out so relaunching the play store in MIUI, if you want to just access the sidebar you can of course tap it right over here but it's just more accessible to just slide it now in MIUI, you can of course just slide it from the upper top right over here but android q has back gesture like everywhere from the top to the bottom so a very neat functionality addition over here you have to just hold on the left and it should actually trigger it there you go as you can see the sidebar just came up right over there now it takes a bit of a time to just get used to it you will just be doing back gestures all the time but yep that's a very neat addition by android q developers right over there not a huge fan but still pretty good work around then again going back going to the tips and support they surely work if you have any queries about your android experience you can just surely ask them over here then again going to the about phone section android version 10 again the pi easter egg it's not still changed so i guess we would be getting a new one whenever the pixel 4 releases with the public preview but then again the build number is uh, qpp5 over here for you guys it would be saying irfan's gsi tools because i have actually changed it to just explore some features which i guess were hidden but pixel 2 port just doesn't have it so for example even if you go to the live wallpapers you have everything from pixel 2 xl if you go to the living universe there you go you have all the live wallpapers even from the pixel 3 you do have it if you just keep scrolling down and yeah guys that's pretty much it for the pixel q beta 5 port for your android phone i hope you guys enjoyed you can of course install it on your any kind of travel phone it should be having a pi vendor and then again you have to just check around whether you have a a only partition a a b partition or a systemized partition like the pixel 3 or the redmi note 7 or the note 7 pro so that's a bit of a tricky but once you find that out just flash the gsi flash the permissiver and you're basically done so that's pretty much it guys thanks for watching see you guys in the next one peace be sure to subscribe